time. There you have it. guys here we are we've been chasing this cat for about an hour and a half or so and uh, Ty's got it off the main road here again it started off on another road and went down inside a creek bottom and then from there it started just easing down the creek bottom for a ways and then finally popped back out on this main road and after we uh, got lined out off this main road he's going again he's about two three hundred yards out up on the hill here now and we're just waiting on him to do his work and see what comes up. This other pup, Havoc, he's about a year and a half or so and he just hasn't had a lot done with him at all. Uh, I got the basics down with him, you know, his, you know, his name, he loads up good. He's a nice dog, active, but he just hasn't had the time or put into him on the game yet. So I'm hopeful for him and hopefully he'll turn out. We'll see. So it's just a little explanation of what's going on. Ty right now has lost it. He's out there searching right now, trying to find a fish track. Right there where he's at is a steep drop off and there's rocks all over right there. And dogs have a difficult time working and maneuvering around those rocky areas where cats really like to live at. And so it takes them time to sort the track out at times. It's not great snow either. It's, I mean, really light dusting, so um, he's going to have a difficult time no matter what he does, so hopefully we work it out of this rock pile. Well, I'm walking in here trying to help the dogs right now. Um, it's going to be kind of a pain because it's a really thick, brushy son of a gun, but I'll try to include you guys as much as I can. Alright, here we go. Okay, we gotta find the bobcat track. Wherever the bobcat track, that's where the bobcat's at. But we gotta find where it came down in here first. There's dog tracks everywhere. This dog's been down here working. So there's the cat track again. Going right there. My guy is running down trick bottom that's parallel on this road and another road. So whenever you're out here traveling from spot to spot, you need to make sure that you're looking for tracks the whole time because sometimes that cat might cross right here. Oh, there it is, right there. I see a nice bobcat. Good dog, Ty Guy. Good dog. I'm gonna let you go for me. Film you. Come on, come on. Here, here. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. What's your question? All right, I was just curious. So we just struck this. We see them, they're all bundled up, 270 some yards away. How do you know from there, like when it's treed or when they've jumped it? That's what I'm curious about. Well, right now they're in the process of what's called coal trailing. And as they're working track and everything, it'll take a while. As soon as they jump, well, sometimes you'll just see a jag in the line that they have or they'll uh, start getting more loud, more intense. Things like that will tell you if they jump it or not. Okay. And then also on GPS, they'll bundle up if they start treeing. Okay. And, and it'll have a tree switch on it, but also... So, so your GPS, if they stay in one certain area for a certain amount of time, then it'll tell you that it's thinking that they're treeing? Yeah. What does it do? It, it just takes time being in a proximity of an area. Okay. 
And uh, also by the dogs' voice, they'll tell you if they're trained oh, okay. too. Their voices change come from cold trailing to jump to treeing to Love baying. Food. I mean, it just kind of depends on what you got going on. That's cool. Okay, so if you guys look right here, those are your bobcat tracks for running full tilt right there. And they keep on going right down through there into the trees. And the dogs ran down the road here, just like this. And if you look right here, one of them turned so hard that he wrecked right here, trying to make the turn to go into the trees with the cat. Live action, man. This is badass. Well, it looks like the dogs are treed. Thomas is getting ready. If you listen in, you should be able to hear. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Thomas? Hell yeah. <laughs> Going to that bobcat tree. Good dog, Rose! Good dog! There's a cat right up there on that lowest branch. Good dog! Good girl! Rose! Rose, here! Here! There it is! Here it is! Here! Here! Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here, 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 here. Okay, we got young blood over here driving for the first time cat handling. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm like 15 and I just got my permit. <laughs> That's exactly the idea. <laughs> so young blood here kind of slid off the pickup a little bit. We are in a ballsy situation. But we got gravel. That's a good thing. Ice was where I started sliding. Oh, yeah, right there. Underneath, there's a big layer of ice. Oh, yeah, they're gonna be in the bottom. <laughs> for sure, no matter what. Walked into a tree. Thomas was pretty confident that <clears throat> the dogs had a tree in the right vicinity, but we couldn't locate the cap. 